Hello guys, KP Shamino here. And as you guys can see, I'm at the moment in New York. Yesterday on the stream, we were fishing here for the unique chain pickerel. It was not that easy because uh, I lost like seven times my line. Okay, I wasn't paying that much attention, but uh, a couple of times the unique went away and I couldn't stop him. So after some testing and some trying, I came to a very good setup for this fish. The main problem is it's like uh, a level 15 or 16 even setup that you need to have. Uh, so you need to have good gear for it because otherwise it's a very hard fish so in this guide i'm going to show you guys what you need to do it's not a lot that is changing with the previous movie uh, with spots and time but the setup is totally different so let's have a look it's by the way only for a bobber so not with the lure so let's have a look and let's keep this fish so first of all where do you need to throw uh, to get this fish for the guys that don't know you need to go to the dock of peace and uh, you just go to here and then you need to go to the wooden dock here and you need to watch over there so the sweet spot for the chain pickerel is this area so they are sitting all over here the main problem is that you need to make the distance too so if I came here the first time yesterday, I was throwing 48, 49 meters and I hadn't success on the chain pickerel. Once you go over 50 meters of distance, uh, you can get the unique chain pickerel, trophy chain pickerels and all that stuff. So you need to make the distance and that's most of the time problematic because you need to lower your line. And there is something very strange. I don't understand it really well. I got two spinning reels. They are almost just the same. And I throw it one, four meters further. Okay. So what you need to do is you just need to throw over here. And you will see that probably I make, if I do it right, 57 meters. So that's perfect. And with this setup, it's not that hard. So you throw over there and then you need to wait 57 meters. So that's good. And then you need to wait. Uh, normally you will see really quick action. I got really quick action already. You see it. I got a bite. They bite very slow. So it can take some time. But once that they bite, they bite very aggressive. And now he stopped biting. So that's the position that you need to throw. And you need to be at least above 50 meters to catch the unique chain pickerel. So that's what you need to do. Okay. It's not complicated. But you need to make the distance. Okay, for the setup, let's have a look at the setup. So the setup, it was a little bit of work because those days uh, it's not that you can just take like a match rod and just throw something on it and it works every time. So I'm here with the Nero 450 for the simple reason that uh, yeah, it, it makes the distance. So the 450, for the guys that didn't saw my movie of yesterday, I tested all the match rods at the moment, and the Nero 450 and the Phoenix 450 uh, make the same distance, but they throw the farthest. So, therefore I took them. Then I'm fishing with the es Espira MLR 3000. It's a very strange name to uh, pronounce. But that's, uh, that's the one that you need to have. And that's really strange. So if you see here now the settings. And the problem is if I go with. Uh, if I got them on me. With this. Uh, rot, this is a gold uh, reel. I mean. The thing is. If you see the difference. There isn't almost no difference. But this one throws 3 meter less far. I'm not sure that's uh, intended. I think it's a bug. But uh, this reel is very important. Because all the other reels. With the same drag setting. Uh, they don't throw that far. I don't know how it comes. I, I only see one difference. This one got like a, a bell bearings uh, one more. But that's all. Okay. So that's 5.5 kilograms on the Nero. 5 kilograms on the reel. And then I'm going with the bread 0.2. For the simple reason. If I go with the Fluoro for the same test. I throw not that far. So that's 4.5 kilograms, 5 kilograms, 5.5 kilograms for a fish of 3 kilograms. But it's needed because it's not easy. The first time that I came here, I went with uh, like a 4 kilogram setup and a 3 kilogram test on my line. And he just broke it. He went away and I couldn't uh, keep him away. Okay, the depth 100 centimeters. Don't go too deep. And this is very important. You guys 
know or don't know. But they implemented a new bobber in St. Patrick's Day. You can buy it now in the shop too. So it's not only the DLC that you uh, got that bobber but in the shop too. But this bobber is really good. You throw further with this bobber than with the chubby bobber. And it's a couple of meters, but every meter count at the moment to make distance. So you need to do it perfect. And this bobber is one gold, level 12, and you can buy it and it's worth it. Because otherwise you don't make the distance. I didn't know it, but uh, a buddy of me, Drizit, said yesterday, uh, throw with that one, it throws further. So thank you for the info, Drizit. Uh, but you guys know it now too. So if you go uh, bobber fishing and need to make distance, Take this bobber, the pear-shaped floater, it's called. I'm not sure that this is the one of the DLC, uh, but you will see it. It's just the same. It's just an other color. Okay, this is a setup that you need to have, so it works really well. Okay, let's have a look in my net. Uh, you will see, you can get a lot of uh, chain pickerels with this setup. So uh, here I is the unique. He didn't give a really big fight this one. You guys will see it in the movie after this movie. So he gives 5 gold, 108 uh, experience. That's a lot if you level here. But the main problem is guys that are level 6 until level 16 cannot get this fish. Because first of all, uh, you cannot get the test high enough on your rod. And second of all, the shiners are level 17 and the large minnows level 16. So it's possible that uh, the casting spoon 21G is a little bit lower in level, but uh, I'm not sure I need to test that. That's probably another movie. So here you guys can see it, a nice amount of fish. I think if you're very lucky, you can get like three uniques in one day. That's not a problem. That was uh, the movie. Before I forget, one more thing, of course, the time. I got say, the same time as before, sunny day uh, from 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. And uh, of course, guys, if you guys got another time zone and you got like, with another time zone, I mean, not that you catch one fish, but that you can get like a couple of uniques in that time zone, that's a time zone. Because not a lot of people know that, but you can get every time of the day unique, but the, the percentage is so low that it's hard uh, to say to people, yeah, that's a good time zone. So if you get like a couple of uniques in a time zone or in an hour, then you can speak about a new unique time zone. So put it under the movie if you guys know another one. And otherwise, guys, have fun with Shane Pickerel. I like this fish a lot. He gives a nice fight for 3 kilograms. Uh, a good reward too. That was a movie. Thanks for watching. If you like the movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.